What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony. I have not decided if this is going to be Andy for breakfast, uh, or if it's going to be, uh, basically a hey guys, because, hey guys, this game is amazing! Now, <laughs> you probably can't make out what shit is on the screen right now, but give me, give me a second to talk about it first, okay? Actually, I'll, how about this, I'll, give me a second to talk about it while I, while I kind of move around here and you guys can see what I have going on. Here, there we go. You guys can watch, watch my turrets kind of spinning around there. Alright, so, this is called Project uh, Project Visitor. Now it is a. Uh, I sometimes call it Planet Visitor on accident because it's a planet, and I believe the planet's actually called Planet Visitor or something. But uh, yes, it's called Project Visitor, and uh, it's it's a game that I played back in like 2000, 2001. Uh, it was my first. It was my first uh, step into MMOs. While people were playing EQ uh, and Planet Side One. I was playing this, and I didn't really understand why, you know, uh, when I would watch people play uh, yeah, MMOs, I was all like, uh, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of doing some of that stuff, but I have the added benefit of, you know, having all the RTS elements. Uh, I grew up, obviously, like like a lot of you, playing uh, the Warcraft series, so those are my, that was like my RTSs, uh, Command & Conquer, right? Like going over to Buddy's house and like linking in, like over the modem and stuff like that. <laughs> ding, ding, you get in, and then someone calls, call waiting, beep, even if you disable that shit, sometimes you don't do it right, it's all beep, and guess what? Then the fight's over, and then it's, I guess, it's just whoever, whoever maintains, I guess, the host connection gets to win. It's stupid, I don't know. Anyway, so that's a long time ago. Now, uh, this game is, it is played uh, using central servers, so you're not linking into anybody directly, and it is essentially an MMO, in a sense. It is a massive multiplayer online game. There are, uh, you know, at any given time, who knows how many people playing, you can see the chat's, chat's talking up a little bit. I will say that, you know, the game being over a decade old uh, and having gone through such a significant change, uh, whereas previously it was called 10.6, now it's called Pro uh, Planet Vis Project Visitor. See, there you go. Project Visitor, uh, it's something that uh, it's obviously taken a toll, uh, taken its toll on the, uh, the, the number of people that are playing it. But it's still one of my favorite games of all time, and the fact that it's still running still running by just people who just I guess they I don't know they just have the time to do it and just feel like just make, making it happen now they they do have uh they used to run it on subs uh but then they got smart and realized that free to play was the way to go and they made the they made the step over to uh to free to play uh and now you go create account jump in and play for free uh and then but there are of course like micro transactions and a premium if you want to go and jump into that but we'll talk about that uh in a minute so uh, there are, obviously, with it being a, a, a decade-old engine, decade-plus-old engine, there are some performance, you know, quirks here and there. It it will run. You don't have a lot of options. Let me show you, actually. Let me go ahead here. Video. Here, Here's your options here. Shadows, dynamic lights, effects, detail, brightness, viewable distance. Uh, then, of course, you have uh, your textures. Or, sorry, your... Um, uh, your... Uh, resolution and all that stuff. Also, I was wondering why the green box was there that I realized, oh, these settings will take effect next time you log in. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of resolutions. The game was actually designed to function on 4x3 screen, so right now, uh, I am running at 1024 by 768 and I actually had to tell my monitor, right, I had to go to the menu settings and tell it to, to change to 4x3. I should change that in my video card settings to automatically do that, but, uh, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't play very many 4x3 games. Um, I'm running at 2024 by 768 because it does run really well on that. It does run pretty well on 1600 by 1200 as well, uh, but my monitor freaks out because it's a 1920 by 1080. 1920 by 1080 it will run at, but it will not automatically adjust your field of view. Just know that ahead of time. Don't bitch. You go 1920 by 1080 and it feels really narrow. Uh, yes, it is a very narrow uh, to switch for. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not switching. Okay, it's good. Um, it is it is relatively narrow, but if you're playing at four by three, it doesn't feel that bad. At widescreen, this would uh, this would drive me nuts. This field of view. Uh, so now I'm on the ground. You're probably like, what the, what the, what happened? You were in you were in a thing, and now I'm on the ground. Yes, this is a combination RTS and first person shooter. Okay, I have a mini gun. I'm carrying a mini gun right now. You see this recoil, right? It's pulling me back a little bit. I'm on a hoverboard. I can't remember what key it was to swap out to. Damn, I forgot what key that was to swap out so you can see my dude in the hoverboard. But trust me, it's not very pretty. <laughs> I mean, look at the textures on everything. Okay, it's not. It's not very pretty at all. Uh, now I am in the. My faction is four factions. There's extreme toy toyko, right? Uh, Tyco. So it's toyko. Um, uh, infrastruct. Which is kind of like the sci-fi ones, right? Toyko is kind of the playful Hello Kitty ones. They actually have a kitty as their logo. Uh, Extreme. I don't really know much about Extreme. I never really played around with them. Uh, and then Brute Force is obviously, I mean, just look around, right? They're supposed to be the guys with all the tanks and all that stuff. Um, there are, if I recall, there are faction-specific 
I just like you know if you if you play StarCraft, any one of the, the three factions, there are faction specific uh, units that you could build. And yes, I built all these tanks, uh, but we're not we're not there yet. We're not there. Yet. There's still so much more. Um, I have to show you guys how this stuff how, how to do all this, right? But first, let's take a look at your your player. Not like literally take a look at it because I'm not gonna go and dig up that. Whatever, I'll do it right now. Okay, look. Okay, uh, go controls. Move forward. Pan, zoom in and out, comma, decimal. I don't even know what the hell. Uh, see, uh, jump, right? Yeah. Uh, just move down. Level camera horizon. Toggle. Selects uh, in attack mode. Yeah, see, I gotta memorize all these things. There's a lot of stuff. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Zoom, unzoom, gun. What? I actually have a sniper rifle somewhere. I should use that. Uh, tactical map. That's what's to in a second. Now I'm actually just looking for menu commands. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Reserve commands. One of them is I probably oh, there it is F12. Jesus, hope that doesn't like disable recording or something. Nope, good. All right, hey, check it out. There's my dude. That's him. Are we are we good on this now? Are we okay? Uh, so you can play uh, using yeah, you know, just simple. Look at my guy. This guy looks like looks like Master Chief almost. Let's see if I can get a good jump off something here. No, 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 no. Get the, the camera around. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, I can't go to first person to turn around. That yeah, whatever. So, my dude, see, he's got a thing. Can I zoom in with this? No, not in this view. Sure, we'll go and go back. I don't think this. I don't have a scope on this thing. So, looking at my player, it's like just my player. Okay, my dude. In the lower right corner, you see that there's a uh, there's my title, rank two, number two, and then cadet. Uh, surely you can see this mouse. I have a mouse enabled, but this is like a software mouse, very clearly a software mouse. So hopefully you guys can see it. Um, I'll try to highlight things if I can. Uh, there's my hit points, my inventory capacity. I'm carrying a bunch of a uh, transient, which I'll tell you what that is in just a minute. Uh, it says my weapon. Okay. Uh, and I can actually, can I see information? Yeah, right here for weapon. That tells me what type. It's a bullet type, damage seven, range 180. Uh, firm points is four. So firm points this is really important because firm points determines how many things you can hold. And this is kind of cool. Uh, firm points are determined by like your armor and everything. So if I go to, see, insufficient firm points. So this, Armor gives me plus two firm points. If I expand this out, it's got micro hydraulics here that increases movement by four, firm points by one, which means if I didn't have micro hydraulics installed on this firmed arm armor, then I would uh, not have the sufficient firm points to hold this weapon because we saw that this weapon requires four firm points. Are we? Am I losing you yet? My, you're probably you might be lost. No, I think a lot of you guys, you guys, you guys are smart. You guys are on me. Uh, so now let's go ahead and take a look at. My dudes, let me go and select you. That's just the one guy. Put you right here. Come over here for a minute. We need to have a talk. So, this is this young man that's coming over here. Where's he at? There he is. Come on over here, guy. Come on over here. All right. This is one of my rovers. It's called an enforcer. One of many, many, many rovers. You have rovers that attack. You have rovers that. Uh, you have rovers that uh, will aid you, like kind of like a medic that will repair things, I believe. Uh, you have uh, mules that will just simply carry transient, which I haven't talked about yet. Uh, but the cool thing about them is that, is that basically every rover has firm points, which means what? Well, it means that you can attach things to them to increase the number of firm points or to increase their viability in action. Uh, for example, if I were to uh, see, go into this guy here, we see that he has three, uh, three firm points. The weapon that I'm using right now has more firm points than he does. If I were to, and I believe this is Any possible, firm let me see. Let me let me jettison this. I don't know if I can do this from here. I'll throw this on the ground, <laughs> and then we'll go and take this guy here and see if I can't put on him. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go take this, and then I'll go take the that weapon I just picked up, which I cannot equip anymore, right? Because I don't have if insufficient firm points. There we go. See what I just did? Tell me that's not. Fucking awesome! I just gave this thing. Look, he was freaking out first, and I was like, "Oh, I can see now because I have, I have a minigun attached to me." That is so goddamn cool, isn't it? It is. Trust me, it is. Trust me on this one, guys. I, uh, I can. I, that means that at any point in time during a battle, if I feel like my weapon's uh, insufficient and I have something that's maybe taking a lot of damage, I can run over there and strip it of its weapons. I can run over there and take its armor, take its weapons, and slap it on me and go. It's. It's just. It is just that. Freaking awesome! Now, let me go and I'm gonna grab this guy. Uh, this guy's kind of important. Uh, where's my camp at? I'm gonna pull up my map. Let's see uh, over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I actually see it. Sorry, I'm I'm obviously getting a little lost here. Um, how do I zoom in and out of the map? Uh, I think it is no. 
Nope, 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 nope. Uh, is it Shift T? Shift Y? Is it Y? Yes, Y. There we go. So Y will allow me to kind of zoom in and out here. Now that might look like a little too much for some people. Uh, I actually have a smaller map here. So if you want to just like leave this open all the time, uh, you'll be able to tell what, what's in your immediate surroundings, right? Like it marks my things, it marks things, uh, enemy turrets and all that stuff. Uh, it marks everything. Uh, every, everything important that's not terrain. Okay, there's the big one once again. So we're going to get out of there. So we're going to put this guy right over here. And I actually want to grab, uh, I'm going to go into my, my nerve center and I'll be, be able to demonstrate or show you some of the things in the surrounding area. You're going to see my guy over here moving into position. Then I'm going to go ahead and take these guys because they don't have weapons. Uh, and they're going to move over here. Obviously the turret's not going to move anywhere. Uh, these guys, oh, there's a, he's stuck. They're not very smart. Okay, we'll just get, just get that out of the way. They're not very smart. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of obstacles in the game. It's just a bunch of hills. They can navigate hills just fine. Uh, now, you have to also pardon the... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's, I, so there's some turrets. I don't. I don't remember all the turrets are, and some are actually new. I don't remember this turret. Uh, I don't remember it flying. I wouldn't have put it like right here at the front lines. If it was fly, you know, if I knew it was flying, I definitely would not have if I would have remembered. Right. Uh, see, there's a faster way to actually maneuver about here, but I definitely would not have put a wall in front of uh well, or behind a turret uh, that flies. That's kind of that's that's kind of stupid, isn't it? Here's a cool thing though. You relocate it. Now relocate it. <laughs> it's pointless down here, actually. But I'm just gonna show you guys what the relocate thing is. I'll move it later. Uh, boom. There you go. It's gonna sink down. Do 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 do. And it's gonna come up over there. That's it. That's all it's gonna do. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Uh, I have a turret. I have a shadow turret right here. Uh, I have another sentry turret here, floating well above the. Uh, <laughs> that's to keep the melee out. Yeah. Okay. That's all I'll tell myself. Uh, so look at look at my base here. All right, I have uh, this little hotspot here, which is called a transium hotspot. Uh, that just means that uh, the wall has finished rebuilding over there. Uh, I have a couple more transium hotspots right here. I have two of them actually appear next to each other, which is why I have just a gang of fucking of turrets right in that area. I have uh, another one over here. I put a wall right in front of it. Uh, and then, of course, I have a couple turrets up on a hill here, and they have pretty good visibility. If I click on this one, you should be able to see the circle. Yeah, you can see the uh, how far it can reach, that gigantic blue circle there. And I believe that's the same for all of them. If I click on this guy here... Uh, same thing, which is basically the entire map. So I have, I have it pretty well, pretty well covered. Uh, now, because I'm level two, I've unlocked the ability for people to come in and raid. When people come in and raid, they will come in from the border here. So, here. so the entire world is divi divided up into sectors. See how big a sector is. We'll go from here to the other side. Uh, just sure line us up right. Actually, no, I'll follow this uh, the four corner over here. So here's another corner. All right. So what I'll do is I'll give you a flyover uh, from one corner to the next. You see just how big the sectors are. They're not huge, right? Uh, but it's more than enough than what, for what you need. I have no idea what's going on, chat. I take no responsibility whatsoever for what they're saying. So there you go. Now that's me in flying mode. Come, walk, running across this thing probably would take a little bit. But as you can see, it's plenty, plenty big. Uh, I also need to... Can I, um, did I unlock the ability to turn off chat? Uh, I don't know. I would like to turn that off. Uh, you don't have enough visitor dollars to lock it. I have plenty of visitor dollars, which is this currency right down here, V dollar sign. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Let's see, edits. Uh, see, cannot. Oh, I have rename my account. Let me rename my region real quick. I'm just because I'm incredibly, incredibly, incredibly mature here in original. Uh, let's see, uh, active region, activate cost, number of alerts, number of hidden camps, I have no hidden camps, um, except, boom, so there you go, the camp balls in your mouth, you see it renames on the lower left corner there, this right here is my transium, so we kind of got on the transium thing a little bit, which is basically, uh, like, you know what, it's like any resource that helps you build something in any RTS, you have to mine it, so I throw a little transium well on top of it, uh, my excess goes to these silos that I've stashed between buildings here, uh, and that is uh, basically where my currency comes from. Right now, I'm maxed out at 56,000 something. Maybe that's the most I can carry. Somewhere around here. You'll see it kind of fluctuate here because every item that's on the map here also uses transio. I click on one, double click on it. It'll show me uh, the use is 15. Transium use 15. So basically, it ticks away at the rate of 15. Every map has five, five transium uh, well points or transium hotspots. And uh, you basically well it up and then you go. So. This is my, this is my camp. Right now it's open to attack. Somebody could attack me at any time. My home camp is protected if I 
uh, if I leave, if I log out. Um, however, while I'm here, because I've surpassed level one, uh, it will give me, uh, well, it'll leave it open for attack. Now, there's not obviously not a billion people playing, so the, the odds of me getting attacked are probably pretty slim right now. Plus, when you, once you see the map, you'll see why it's kind of difficult to just randomly go and pick somebody to go and attack. Uh, also, there's lots of instances where there are plenty of other areas to attack anyways. And I'll show you all that in just a moment. I believe we've covered everything over here. I don't have a weapon or anything, so let me go ahead and... Uh, let me double-click on that. Is this my... No, so I think it's in the warehouse. It's still a bunch of weapons in here. Cannon, fur point, needs four. So I don't have a lot of, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of gear, uh, like my armor or whatever, that, uh, that increases my, my fur points. So that's going to be kind of difficult to manage because I already gave it to that tank. And I'm going to take that tank with me because we're going to go somewhere. I am, however, going to build, uh, it's right, a gear factory. I have nothing in the gear factory. That's going to, that's what builds my, um, I believe that's what builds upgrade units and all that stuff. Uh, like micro hydraulics for armor and all that shit. It's a weapon plant. See, I, I could build other weapons. Right, but right now I have a, right now I have my uh, my sniper rifle line. I'll go keep that. Rover yard. So let's see, Titan. Now there are certain things because I'm not premium. I cannot build. Okay, uh, like these two guys, I can't build. These are, I believe, I'm almost a thousand percent certain here. These are faction specific uh, rovers. Now I can't build them, but I can store them. I believe I can also. Uh, let's go to the market here. So this is your core of the market. I believe I can also exchange. Uh, them. So let me actually see. Computer uh, filter lists. Um, let's see, can I exchange? Okay, let me. I think I have to put stuff in my backpack, perhaps. Yeah, I don't have any jitters. Jitters is basically the core. I know it's explain all this stuff, right? There's so much crap. Jitters are. Jitters make everything. They make the world go round. Every. They're like a tiny little electric spark looking thing and they make like a really annoying sound so you could find them if you happen to drop one. Uh, but jitters can grow into anything here. Everything here started as a jitter and allows you to very easily transport uh, anything you want. Uh, so rover yard, I'm going to build real quick. Let me build a... Uh, I'll build a mule. And I'll go ahead and set him up. He's being built right now. You can see him growing out of there. If I were to hop out of my mule, out of my uh, uh, my nerve center, which is where I'm at right now, this building right here, uh, I would actually be able to see him, just the same way I saw this guy, uh, kind of running around. So I'm putting him next to my teleport matrix, which I built, and I'm gonna go ahead and have a weapon. I have plenty of TU. I need to actually pick up some jitters for some new uh, stuff because we're gonna go to another camp and build a new camp from scratch. It's gonna take a minute, but it's gonna be worth it. Uh, well, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of those up or all of them, whatever uh, Chain turret sure you never know you never know can't use a trebuchet because it's a uh, uh, It's a premium item. I cannot build it Let's see uh, Now in terms of like exchanging the jitters uh, if I throw jitters into the black market there actually I might as well go and try that since we're here nerve center That's important can't can't necessarily go and build anything on silo uh, nerve center is required for any uh, anytime you go to build a, uh, or take a new camp, you have to have a nerve center, okay? And then, and then you get new, you can go and raid other camps and destroy things and pick up their jitters, uh, or you can, uh, buy packs online, uh, if you wanted to. And here you see black market retrieval, retrieve jitter packs purchased through the black market here, select the pack and click retrieve, the jitters will be placed in your backpack. Uh, you see I have, I have quite a few, there's actually a ton that were here before, uh, and I could go through. And of course, uh, download these and it'll go into my pack. And so let's go ahead and grab, before I keep getting sidetracked here, because there's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, let's go grab this Titan, which I know I can't build. See, I don't need premium members. Oh, really, that's kind of dumb, right? Sucks, premium members, blah, blah, blah. Um, but hear me out on this. You don't have to be an offensive player to enjoy 10-6, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Project Visitor. You can be a miner. If you like just going and making camps and defending them, totally, that you're good. Uh, obviously having access to certain turrets and certain tanks will make your, uh, will, will, will make it easy for you to defend things. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's true. But having a good strong MDN is really what's going to make you, uh, it's really going to make it easy for you to survive in this game without having to pay anything at all. You can pay nothing. Um, now the, uh, an MDN is basically a mutual defense network and I think it's maxed out like 20, I think 20 is the most you can have. I'm not in an MDN right now. Uh, I used to be in an MDN, pretty good one, like way back in the day. And the way it works is anytime your camp is attacked, you'll get a notice 
saying, hey, this camp, uh, camp is being attacked, and you could basically teleport right over there with a whole bunch of tanks and defend it. Pretty easy stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, so I have my jitters in here, and I wanted to show you guys the market. Let's see, I've not actually done this in, like, have I done this before? I don't even know. Okay, so here I got some jitters. We're going to drop this in here. Jitters to be exchanged. So I'll get 1250 uh, uh, visitor dollars for this, for this jitter. Okay, I, I, there's nothing else I could do, so I guess I'll go ahead and uh, take that. No, I'm not gonna take that. You guys, now you guys know that it, that's the way it works. Okay, I'm not gonna get rid of a Titan. I'm, what if I want to go in and uh, upgrade to uh, to premium? Now, here's the thing: you can upgrade to premium for a week, a month, three months, six months, right? And you get a deal based off how much that is, like six bucks for a week, uh, twelve dollars for a month, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, I really want to disable chat because every time I get a message from chat, the mess whenever this thing gets like crazy long, I can't. It, it starts to actually. Uh, I may have to do this. Yeah, that work. I was like, it actually kind of sometimes um, uh, prevents or give me a little kind of a hiccup on my frame rate. But that might, that might have cleared it up actually. I hope I hope so. As long as it doesn't stutter, we'll see. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, and it's actually less of a deal whenever I'm in uh, uh, whenever I'm recording. Oh, sorry, whenever I'm not recording. Oh man, man, oh man, there's so much shit, isn't there? Oh no, it's still jittering. Awesome. Um, jittering. Oh boy. So F3 store. Okay, so let's go ahead and see about, uh... Let me this! Oh, does that actually work? Did I lock it? Oh, uh, yeah, shut up. Maybe, maybe because that's, that's, you start off with like 5 million. Perhaps it wants me to have 500,000 over the initial 500 million that, uh, 500, uh, 5 million that I got. I, I don't know about that, but that's a minor thing, turning off chat, minor thing. Um... Okay, so what do I have in my bag? I have, I have enough stuff to start basically a new life somewhere else if I want to. Uh, and I have with me a mule, which will help me uh, carry around some transium if I need to, which is the currency, right? Which is, I can't, I'm carrying a bunch of transium with me because everything costs money to do, right? Or transium. Uh, and then I'm bringing an enforcer just in case I get jumped. Because you never know, man, I might get jumped. Now I'm going to go to the market. Mm, sorry, world. And uh, before we leave, actually, let me go and show you, not info. That, that's kind of like a wiki built into the thing. Uh, not, uh, Corpnet, yeah, cause I, uh, yeah, no, nothing there. Uh, I wanna show you, oh, that's right, uh, advancement, real quick. Uh, whenever you want in VATS and level, I go to, so here's my, first of all, here's my info, shows all my stuff. Um, this is actually my second account. I had another account, but uh, for some reason it's, uh, I think it's cause it's, a uh, it's a grandfathered account. It'll only function uh, on premium. So if you, if you used to play, you might have to, like, message somebody to, to fix your specific, specific account. Because if you had a previous account that isn't grandfathered in, then it will not function on the free-to-play role unless somebody converts it for you. If that makes any sense. Uh, but it's cool because it doesn't take long to actually get in here and get started. Woo! Man, so I am uh, current level 2. I can actually advance, I believe. Oh, no, I need one more camp. Okay. Uh, the way it works is you have to have, you have to meet these basics, you know, these basics here. Uh, and then uh, it's either raiding points or camps. This is what I'm talking about. You don't have to be somebody that raids other people's camps uh, in order to uh, progress. If, you, if you're if you somebody who's really good at building uh, camps that can essentially defend themselves, um, then guess what? You can uh, advance by building camps. And that's it. So how do you build a camp? I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and uh, let me see. Let me go and switch back to this thing here. Yeah, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit long. It's getting a bit lengthy. Here's what I'm gonna do. Before I actually do the switch, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, uh, before I teleport to another world, I'm gonna actually go ahead and refire up the clients, um, and uh, because every message now is 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 definitely hauling me up, and this that way it'll clear out chat. And uh, in the meantime, actually, before I come back, I'm gonna go and look up to see how I can disable chat, uh, especially for the sake of this particular uh, walkthrough. So, be right back. All right, so check that. Here's what I did. Uh, I didn't even actually turn off the game and restart it. Uh, I I, <laughs> I went looking for a fix. It seems like some, it's something that came up recently, as recent as a week ago, actually. And uh, the gentleman said that he is. The guy who's maintaining it, the Martian, I believe, on the forums, pvforums.com, pv for Planet Visitor, um, or Project Visitor, see, I will never get over that, uh, is uh, is looking into it. So, oh, he's, he's a developer. Uh, so, this is, uh, what I did was, I went to World Chat, and uh, this seemed to clean it up a little bit, uh, much, much better, actually, uh, because now that chat is shutting the fuck up, I don't have to worry about uh, every random message kind of, Messing with me until, of course, the next build. What I did was I just went through and I just muted everybody. So whenever someone says something, do 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 mute. That's it. Click a little speaker next to their name. Done. Now, where were we? We were gonna go ahead and jump, right? We were gonna jump to a new world, a whole new world. 
I'm not gonna go there. And uh, that way I can show you guys all the awesome stuff that you can do over here. So this is the world, right? Here we go ahead and uh, spin it around here. Can I turn it around quicker? <gasps> Whatever. Okay, just trust me. This is the whole big ass world. Uh, now, the only squares that are active are all the white ones. And it's like, oh, well, that's not a whole lot, right? It's a big old world that's all that's active? Yes. But, but then you need to understand. If I go to this one here, right? If I click on it, I'll get a little, well, click on any of them, so you'll get a little uh, information on who owns what there, right? All the different, all the different uh, factions and whatnot. Click in here, I can go ahead and uh, go double click on that. And oops, I went too far, let me back out a little bit. Uh, these are all of these squares that make up this particular uh, uh, section, the sector. And uh, give it a second, it's going to actually populate all of the information for each one. There it is. Uh, this is, now what you're looking at here is all of the, uh, is basically all the faction control in this one area. It's a lot of camps, right? It's a whole lot of camps. Obviously divided by color. Uh, and you can see that uh, green right, right down here. That, that's uh, well, that's our jam right there. We're, we're green and we're not doing, I guess we're doing okay actually in the, in the grand scheme of things here. Uh, now, where is my camp? I click on my name, I think it takes me to my camp. There it is, okay. So I actually, uh, here he goes. Every gray area is where you could go. Okay, I can go to any one of these. Any one of these areas I can go to as well. You wanna go see what it looks like to go to someone else's camp? I would love to do that. But not right this second. I'm carrying very valuable things. I do not want to die and have to drop my shit somewhere. Uh, also, honestly, I don't think I can until level 21 as a non-premium player. Remember, raiding is something that you have to pay premium for, but you can still progress in the game by building camps. Okay, now, let me go ahead and, uh, does someone say something? Boom, shut up, Joey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go here because it's right next to another camp that is uh, owner owned by Leeds for 354 days. I have a feeling that that's uh, his base camp, and he has not been there for quite some time. Uh, so let's go to teleport info. Uh, I can choose to teleport everything that's in my uh, in my rover or matrix. Oh, I have three. Hold on a second. Something else might be within range. Fuck it, we'll take it. Uh, teleport cost 2,000. Transfer bulk. Oh, with three, let me go ahead and actually increase the amount of TU that I'm carrying. There we go. Because uh, you never know, when you get there, you might need some, some TU. I'm carrying how much? 3,400. Okay, so teleport. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I forgot about this part. Uh, let see, bulk limit. Is, okay, well, hold on. Uh, can I, I definitely want to take, I don't want to take that Enforcer. I'll take the one that I buffed. Tracking, it talks, right? I have some of the voices and then all this stuff like turned down. Uh, can I actually take all this? Teleport lock yes, again. Sweet. Here we go. There's my dudes right there. I'm gonna go and actually check out some stuff first. So where's my where's my tank at? There he is. Okay. Love my map. Hell, where am I at? Oh, we're up here. This is a very, very, very hilly terrain. I think I saw something over here. Now, even though I'm too far to actually see and select those, uh, my, my minions, my tanks, I can still actually move them by using the menu on the lower right corner, little pop-up menus. Really, there's like... Okay, so we've, we got one. This is, I don't like this, uh, God, there's so many hills. Problem is with, the, with all these hills and all this terrain is, uh, I mean, there's ups and downsides, you know, like how you defend things. Uh, is all the terrain is on the outside, okay? So with all the terrain on the outside here, whoops, and I'm falling. Uh, all the hills and the dips and everything on the outside. That just means more cover for people that are attacking your base because they always come from the edge. Um, hmm. All right, well, let's turn this off. We'll go ahead and let's go ahead and jump back. It's costing you money to come here, but I don't like this area at all. And then, of course, the main area where you would probably set up uh, the center area seems to be flat. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head back. I don't know where my dudes are at. They should show up on my little radar here, but they don't. Weren't they like right around here? I guess I must have gone pretty far. Doesn't matter. I actually go with them if I just 
I think if I simply, uh, how do I do this? It's been a long time since I've done this. Oh, there they are, they're right, right in front of me. Great. Again, I don't have to actually be near them. I just want to see them and hold them and hug them, tell them that everything's going to be okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get this guy to shut up. He hasn't really said anything, but it's okay. Shut up anyways. Uh, and we'll go ahead and I guess we'll teleport back. My dudes, here they come. Emergency recovery systems activated. Fairly certain I brought my guys with me. <laughs> I'll be pretty upset if I didn't. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, there they are, right there. See? They're all, da -da -da. We made it, boss. It's going to be great. Why don't you go over here? How big is this area? Oh, yeah, you are big enough to get these guys out of the way. Okay, we're going to choose another area to bounce to. We'll take those guys with me. Um, cost me a little bit of TU, but I mean, I'm a TU making machine right now. Uh, so I don't have to really worry about that. Worlds, uh, let's try this one. Teleport. Once again, we have to choose the items we're going to take with us. Now, imagine if you're raiding somebody's camp, you would do exactly. essentially the same thing, right? You would go and drag over everything that you want, and you take over the things that you're able to carry, your bulk limits, right? Teleport lock now, the bulk limit at destination is determined by, I believe, the amount of uh the level of the character i think or something like that like it has something to do with it this area is kind of cool see look already it's looking good we started off kind of on the edges oh it's already looking really good look at this there's a transient well here destroyed by toyko okay so this camp was recently raided probably not too long ago frame rate still kind of being dumpy even though i tried my little trick i, I should have restarted the client honestly that would have been the best Way to do it, but you guys get the gist. You guys get the gist. Oh, there's already a teleport thing. What? Okay, so this is good. This is actually a pretty good area. Um, lots of hills and everything on the outside. Uh, a little bit of a kind of a secluded area here, which is still not the best, but there's already so much crap here, it's going to be difficult to pass this up. So let's go ahead and get uh, both these guys over here. And uh, I'm going to actually drop a nerd. A nerd center. A <laughs> nerd center. A nerve center. We're gonna build. Uh, we already have a teleport matrix. So where do I put this thing? That is, I think, this is the only thing you could build on foot. And after this, you have to go inside and actually take care of business. Uh, let's go and build it right here. Still kind of keeping everything nearby. My tanks and everything. Don't get in the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Daddy's working. Then what I'll do is, can I actually build a transient well? Oh, I don't need to actually, because there's transient wells all over the place, which means this thing's gonna instantly start making money. Look at my TU at the bottom, 6250. You're gonna see that start to go up as these things, which are probably already, double click, uh, they're already full. Am I looking at his transient wells? I believe I am. Yes, I'm you know, just building the thing, just gave me 6250, I think. Fairly certain. <laughs> uh, I can start building silos. Did I bring, bring silos with me? God, I hope I did, let me see. Yes, I did. Boom. So we'll store everything. Stores everything inside of the nerve center. Uh, which I guess I... Oh, I brought more than one. I have four of them. Holy crap. I should definitely not leave camp with that many. Whoops. should just brought a couple. Okay. What if we brought tons of turrets? Jesus. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we'll leave that in my bag. If I need to emergency get the hell out of here. Which shouldn't be a problem because there's a teleport matrix right there. And actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and grab these two guys. And get them to kind of hang out next to the teleport matrix. Just in case I get attacked while I'm here. Which I can because you can only lock down... I think while you're logged out, you can only lock down your main camp, right? I think that's it. Uh, and it opens up, of course, when you're actually logged in. Uh, so while I'm here, someone could go and, you know, uh, take over somebody else's camp. But you see at the bottom here, it says, the region's been conquered by Mike B. And I can actually rename the camp now if I wanted to, to whatever I want. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, start building stuff. Transient well. We got plenty of transient wells. You see they're, they're starting to rack, uh, to rack up here, uh, which that is clearly... So it wasn't actually storing anything. I was hoping it would actually be storing things, but it's not. Uh, double click on this, and we'll expand it out. Okay, uh, it shows your buildings, right? You expand it out, or just double click on the building, and it gives you everything you need here. Transient silos. We're gonna go ahead and build a bunch of silos. We're gonna build them on the inside, like right here, so that way there's at least some kind of cover, sort of, uh, from the the bad guys. So that's it. That's that's a camp. That's one camp. I think I can. This is conquered by me by just putting down a nerve center. I think I could just go and actually advance. Let's see, uh, how do I? Nope. Damn. Okay. So I need more. I need to do something else. I don't know what the other thing. What? What else? What else do I need in order to? Let's see. Well, wait, when these get built, if they start actually absorbing, uh, 
transient, that means that these wells are now working for me, which I'm certain they are because double clicking on them gives me access to their loadout and everything. I can see that they are indeed pulling in mining transium. Let's go ahead and construction complete. Good. Let's see. Is this thing filling up? Yes, it is. Construction complete. All right, good. So my transient wells are filling up, which means this camp is mine. Um, hmm. This part I'm not quite certain about. Well, let's see. Let's double click on this. Let's go ahead and build a couple more silos. And then what we'll do is we'll set up a couple of turrets. Chain turrets is all I have. All my good stuff back at home, right? Uh, and I can actually rotate this around. Hit F, and then you could swap in and out, and then move around accordingly. Uh, psh, what's a good spot? God, I feel like the second they come over the hill, that's when be. That's when I want to kind of put it in their face. So let's go and put a couple things here. Build another one. Nope. F9. I have no protection for them whatsoever, so it's not really the best setup. But you know, it'll get the job done. Kind of. I, anybody could probably, I, it could very easily come and take this over if they wanted to. As a matter of fact, the fact that I'm even putting this on video out puts, puts this particular camp uh, at a bit of a disadvantage because now everybody that watches the video knows uh, where I'm located, which means that, of course, anyone that watches the video that plays the game that has a decent army will be able to come and take me out. So please, please no. <laughs> Put this guy up on a hill. Let's see, and I got one more here. So I'm basically surrounding myself with turrets almost completely. Now there's obviously a couple of transient wells kind of out there, just OTF and just out there by themselves. Uh, but hey, I can't, I can't watch them all. <laughs> I'm just gonna let those kind of chill out there. And the reason why probably uh, whoever raided this place left those is because I mean you, you probably just get accumulate tons and tons of them as you play. So leaving some at a camp that you dominated is really not that big of a deal. Not really worth much, except for when you're expanding. But, you know, I think I'm done with that. Uh, and that's it. Now, I wonder how long I have to maintain this before it actually becomes mine. That's something that uh, would be really good to know. Let me see. Advance. Info. Info. Uh, let's see. Can't pause your mouth. Alert status. Let's see, that's yes. Home. Alert status. Days to capacity. So that's the maximum amount of transient I can have in it. Construction. Uh, complete. Let's see. In camp. Minimum 80k. Blah, blah, blah. Complete. So camps. Add camps to camp marks. No. Good. Uh, which I guess. Camp marks. I guess complete. I could actually. Uh, camp data is protected. Okay. I guess I can mark certain camps. Maybe if I want to go and complete. beat up some guy who keeps on building his own camp. So here we go. Uh, my TU capacity, I think, should go up. Complete. As. Uh, oh, those are my turrets that are building. Okay. Okay. My silos should be. Pretty much done. Yeah. Uh, let's complete. see. What else do I need to do here? Let's rename it, maybe. Let's go to edit. Rename the region. Uh, Construction complete. Uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> using for review. Oh, yay. Construction uh, yeah. Complete. Reserved for review. <laughs> Do not destroy using for game review. <laughs> no one's gonna fucking buy that. <laughs> it's totally not gonna work. Especially you guys that are watching right now. That's totally not gonna work. Let's see. Uh, activate cost, number MDN alerts. I have no MDN. I haven't joined an MDN, which is kind of a no no, right? Uh, I guess we'll activate. You're requesting to any other says change of this map. Okay. So it's going to, I don't know, I guess it's going to make it, make an alert for my non-existent MDN. A uh, number of hidden camps. I could, I could hide it. 100% visitor dollars. 100%. Ah, premium members. You could hide up to five camps as a premium member. That's not bad. It's completely reasonable, I think. Okay, so this uh, this thing is going to continue to make money. And actually, let me go check to see if there's transient wells on all of the points. Let's see, do I have to do anything else to it? I don't think so. Or map. Map will make this a lot easier. Oh, I can't pull up the map in this mode. So we have one, two. There's only five, remember, so. One, two, three. 
four, five. And they all have, yeah, they all have wells. The wells are functioning, right? Yeah, the wells are functioning. You can actually see that they're functioning. Good. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll just kind of hang back and just let it make money. That's it. Someone else, not else to, much else to do. Uh, I could go and raid another camp, though. Uh, that would be something to do. Let's see. Alert status alerts. Yeah, you know what? I think I will do that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to reboot the clients because it's being a bit of a dick right now. And, um, like, in this mode, it's, like, perfectly fine. But I think it's because the chat log has indeed built up quite a bit. Again, a bug that they are looking into actively. They'll probably get a fix for that soon. Uh, recording also does not assist in this, even though I'm using DX4, which is very lightweight. It doesn't matter because it is a very old, old game engine that does not, uh, <laughs> does not play well in terms of allowing other things to maintain processes as well. Uh, or to share processor space. So, here's what I'll do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually teleport back to home base. I'll leave my... I'm not gonna leave shit here. Hell no. I'm about to lose everything the second I leave. Watch. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll actually log off from here. And uh, I'll be back in a second. And we'll go make another camp in just a moment. All right, we are back. New, fresh launch. Look at this. Oh man, it's beautiful. So before we even get started, let's go to world chat. Okay, well, there's one there. It's not loaded yet. It's a problem. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at, um, see our camp info here. I see that uh, my camp is still... <laughs> I haven't got an alert saying that it's being attacked. So, uh, did I retrieve my... I don't know if I actually retrieved my dudes. Honestly. That's the camp right there. Uh, huh, camp info. Rovers and Matrix. Okay, it says there's no Rovers and Matrix, which means... I, You know, I hit F8, and F8 is the retreat button. So I'm willing to bet they're here somewhere. I thought they'd be, like, chilling right there. Like... Uh, oh, 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 no, that's a flying turret thing there. Okay. Let's see. I only have one. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, you know what? They're not in the matrix itself. I moved them aside, didn't I? Oh, let's go take a look. We'll go ahead and just teleport over there really quick. Worlds. Uh, That's my other camp. So there's my one camp here and another camp here. Jump into this. Teleport. Info. Teleport play only. Teleport lock established. We'll go over here. And I should appear not on the edge because, again, I have a nerve center and everything built up. Kind of awesome, in my opinion. Okay, so we got our dudes right there. I have enough things to go and build other things. Another, I take over another camp. Uh, can I advance yet? I have not tried that. Uh, 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 look at that. I can advance. Boom. I am now level three. Wait, can I advance again? Boom. Level four. Dang. All you need is one. Wow. While this camp's active, I should just take advantage of this shit, right? Uh, well, unfortunately, it's, it, it costs money to advance. I forgot about that part. Yeah. Uh, it costs half a million to advance to the next level. At some point, it's going to tell me to get another camp. Okay, that's enough. Two, okay, I need two camps to get the next one. And how much? 0.9 million, which is, woo, that's going to wipe me out. But let's go ahead and go to the next. Uh, just so you know, uh, just upgrading myself like this, I believe that also uh, is increasing the amount of stuff people can bring to my base in order to... Uh, attack it, which honestly, I probably just fucked myself because I don't have a lot of stuff here to defend this base. Uh, so if someone wanted to jump in with like just a light, you know, light uh, armor column, they could probably take me out. <sighs> but it's okay, we're doing it for a video, and uh, maybe I'll get my other account activated because I think I have a rep rashi by this point with the with the initial wipe from uh, the the first game from 10.6. I'm pretty sure I probably don't have much on it. So let's go ahead and go to the world. Now we're going to go with scouts. Uh, I'll go scout by myself, actually. I'm going to keep it kind of in the same area. Uh, player info, visitor. Let's go camp info. Open, 51 days, owner level 10. Okay, so this one hasn't been touched in a long time. So let's go ahead and teleport. Just me. Just me. Teleport lock established. This is now, uh, I'm telling you right now, this game is super addictive. Like, I can be here all day just doing this uh, and you know it doesn't run in windowed mode which is something I should bring up uh, which is kind of unfortunate but you could try some force window alternatives just know that if it doesn't lock the mouse to the uh, to the window itself then you're gonna have a bad day because you're constantly looking around and some of those things do not restrict mouse to the window itself now where the hell okay, let's get the layout here 
Okay, so that's a wall, right? Okay, so we're gonna go do this way. This is, wow, this is crazy terrain right here. There we go. Not too bad. I can actually hide behind, uh, there's probably a couple little areas I could stash things. This can't destroy by extreme. Okay, so I have one, two. I have enough TU on me. I could probably just, maybe I want to just build the shit from here, right? I've not tried that. Uh oh, oh, whoops. Oh, dude, I stashed all of my shit at the other place. Damn it. I don't have my jitters for my wells. I stashed them at the other camp. This is not a bad camp either. Let's go build some shit here. So there's an exit. They could come from there. They come from like somewhere over there. And, uh, well, obviously they come from basically anywhere. So how about I stuff this thing in the corner here? Like it, just just enough so I could put some stuff behind if I need to. This read has been conquered by AK Mike V just by planting that thing. Look at that. See, this is not my camp. What's up, bitches? <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to uh, I need to teleport out. I don't, I don't have a teleport matrix either, so that means I have to run to the edge. I think <laughs> we could try. Hold on a second. I'm 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 almost a thousand percent and I can't. Do 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 building my building and done. Depleted. Uh oh, uh, uh oh, I made it too low. <laughs> Son of a bitch, relocate. Damn it, I didn't leave enough room for me to jump into it. There you go, go over there. God damn it, get out of here. Get out of here. All right, I'll wait for it to come up over here. There it goes. And ta-da! Nerve center half complete. Nerve center seventy-five percent complete, roughly. There you go, seventy-five percent. And please tell me I put the exit thing high enough. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm good here. And we are now in. Sweet. Uh, see world. Uh, see. Uh, it can like be my camp. Uh, that's my home camp. Uh, this is the camp that I also own, and obviously I own this one as well. Let's see. Can I teleport to it? Cannot uplink to teleport matrix. <laughs> Shit. So I have to go and emergency teleport out because I didn't bring anything with me. So what I would end up doing now is going uh, to the edge of the map, which is right over here. And this is where I activate the emergency teleport system. Right? It doesn't activate. It's in the bottom left corner here. Uh, once I get to the fence line, uh oh, did I turn around here? No, no, I'm still going. Good. Wow, this is so so many hills. Holy shit! Oh, hold on a second. Am I looking at transient wells? Oh, okay. Yes, 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 I am. Okay, they were just a bit further away because I zoomed out or something. Yeah, we get rid of that, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get out. So yeah, you just have to be. You have to be between the um uh. Between the, the fence line and the actual, you know, there's like an actual like posts. It to be around there in order to actually teleport out. So the problem is like now, uh, it teleports me to my home base, and I don't think I have the jitters here in order to uh, this happen. I, I did say I was gonna store these, didn't I? I should do that. Getting attacked, and losing those would suck. Double click on this teleport matrix. I'm gonna take one of those. Can I just pick up one? There we go. One. Nice. Just hold down Alt and click and drag. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I did leave uh, stuff for the other camp. So, oh, bitch. All right, we'll go to. Uh, yeah. Uh, teleport. I keep double clicking. Teleport player only. Teleport lock established. Good, 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 good. All right, none of my camp's being attacked yet, but I'm willing to bet that once I log in tomorrow, it's gonna be gone. Let's see, uh, I, yeah, I need to retrieve from the nerve center here. Now each building obviously has a different purpose. You know, going back, you guys saw I was highlighting some of the buildings earlier. Uh, but each building has it serves its own purpose, and that could be storing just basic warehouse, uh, generating weapons or creating weapons, creating you know, armor, creating like uh, rovers, right? So there's all kinds of stuff. And I'm sorry I can't really show you guys the actual raiding portion of it. Yeah, you know, we're talking like getting into the game here. But I'm already ten levels in. The problem is I spent a ton of my money already. You know, so it's gonna take time and money, etc. 
so wait, you know what? how do you actually get money? Well, let me go and actually pick up some of these silos and uh, all this other stuff. So let me go and pick up and the uh, wells. If someone were to come and destroy that, they would get all everything that's inside of the nerve centers. I definitely don't want to leave that here. Um, but yeah, so go to the market. And here I can exchange uh, transium for uh, visitor dollars. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I can uh, change, let's see. I can purchase uh, packs with visitor dollars. Packs of jitter pack, right? Um, I still have plenty of starter packs over here. Uh, jitter exchange, that's one other way to do it. So I can get all these starter packs and then turn around and jitter exchange these things in here. Okay, let me go ahead and dump everything in here. You can see 25,000, boom. And these are all basic things, you know? Like, I'm sure that other items, especially if you were to, like, you know, go and raid a camp or something like that, all the, the jitters, you could go and exchange them for, you know, maybe, I don't know, 50,000 per raid or something. I have no idea. I just know that it is going to get expensive as you go up. Buying premium is going to give you more money, right? Just like most, most premium does. It just kind of gives you more money. And I think you can also... Can you also buy... I don't know if you can actually buy visitor dollars. I don't see that option here. And I don't think I've seen that option before either. I think you, you could buy these packs uh, using uh, real money. And you could sell them, I guess, on, on Jitter Exchange. And then you could exchange uh, Transium for uh, for visitor dollars. Actually, hold on a second. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, exchange. Oh, Transium unit. Duh. Okay. Can I, uh, can I flip this? Transium and visitor dollar exchange. I can't. Can I not? Damn, I thought for sure I could sit there and swap out between Transium and Visitor Dollar to go back and forth, but I don't see that option. Okay, no problem. Uh, there is a center hub. Uh, there are certain uh, maps on uh, in every sector that you could go to to actually go and exchange if you want to do some kind of uh, exchange or trade with somebody from another faction, the people that were talking in World Chats. World Chat's not loading now, so maybe I figured out the lock thing. I have no idea. Wait, whatever. It's keeping my frame rate good until the next patch. Uh, anyways, anyways, we wanted to go back to that other camp and build the, the at least as a minimum, the uh, my tele my um, my wells and of course oh I'm not gonna take that stuff just me just me just teleport teleport lock uh, the teleport matrix uh, and of course all my other stuff so here we go oh, oh even without a teleport matrix I can still show up here Woo -woo. okay now uh, there are no wells. And I have wells, so I want to build wells. Wells cost nothing. This is the first thing you do, by the way, when you when you go build a map. You you build an air center, then you build wells, okay? Because you can't build anything else. So if you're confused, this is like the most complicated part of this game, I'll be honest with you, is getting started. Once you build the wells, then you're set. Then you build silos, and you're going to have money coming in, right? Once you got the income coming in, then you go and build other stuff, and basically your entire life is just simple. So boom, you, and uh, you... So F9, and you. This is going to be like the most, like the least defended camp. Anyone's going to come and just take it. But whatever, we're doing it for you guys. Doing it for you guys. Because it's like super exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Damn it. It's f f for those of you who like to. Uh, Region and, obstructed. Oh, oh, there you build there. There you build there. There you build there. Oh, there's one building there. Okay, so I must have just kind of overlooked that one. Um, this one I've not seen. There you go. Is that all of them? I think it's all of them. And by the way, you could build a well not on a transient hotspot, and it'll just sit there, and it won't tell you. It'll just be like, doo doo doo, I'm not mining shit. And they'd be like, why am I making my money? Where's my money? Yeah, then you're like, oh, well, I'm an idiot. Uh, where did I put my home base? There it is. Uh, let's see. Complete. An easy way to find things, by the way. Uh, like, say, if you lose your your uh, your base camp, if you're here, like, I can't see anything. Uh, just go over here and click on that, and then click on center. Boom, done. That's it. Easy. Then you can fly all over the place. So now I have transient being mined complete. here. You can see in the bottom there. Uh, did I build four or five? I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and build the uh, the matrix here. Teleport matrix. Put it right there. And I'll go ahead and build the silos. Insufficient transient. Uh oh, at the weight. Oh, 200. Nice. It's okay. It's coming. It's coming. 41. Construction complete. Come on. It's still building the wells, so the 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 the, the rate at which it increases is gonna go up here soon. I mean, I feel like should I put it on the inside. Complete. No, I can't really. And then I almost have enough for another one. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think you guys pretty much get the gist, right? Uh, that is. Let's go ahead and take a look at my info. Shows that I have 
uh, name is useless. <laughs> That's the name of the camp. I'll have to change that, I guess, at some point in time. Um, but you can see that I have, uh, yeah, I'm making, I'm making money. I'm making to you. And it says a visitor dollars. Uh, I want to know what that is actually. 93. So every 10 seconds, I'm making 93 visitor dollars out of 15,000. I guess it's as I'm logged in or something. Construction complete. Let's take a look at this over here. If that jumps up to, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. There it is. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, my income rates per camp uh, is probably determined by, I don't know, the amount of assets you have within that camp itself. Because as you can see, the assets uh, and the visitor dollar amount there is actually uh, both yellow. And uh, let's see. So if that times three will get me there. So that times three and some change gets me there. There you go. That's it. So your assets uh, and your visitor dollars is, is uh, obviously two things that work uh, in tandem. So my TU capacity is... 5,000 and that's pretty much it. So that's it guys. This is this is Planet Visitor. Uh, it is a game that uh, I played for so So many hours and right now I mean even just sitting here playing it right now. I absolutely love this game uh, Once I get to level 21 I'll be able to go out and you know do some raiding and all that stuff But right now probably my best bet what I should do now once I finish this video is go and deconstruct all of this stuff because I'm already you know once I hit rank actually can I advance here while I'm standing here And that's it. That's the that's the last I'll be able because I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> We're stuck here. Oh uh, yeah. So probably what I'll do is I'll actually dismantle all this stuff because again we built it all just for you guys to see what uh so you guys can see what it uh, uh what doing all this entails. Uh, which is as simple as just laying down a nerve center and uh, that calls it your own. So the more nerve centers you have, the more bases you could put up. Uh, and then you could advance. Of course, it costs money to advance. So you want to actually have those nerve centers up so you can actually make money. Uh, at, a, at a decent rate because your assets determine the rate of visitor dollars that you make and of course there's other ways by doing by selling jitters and all that stuff. So there's just there's so many different things you could do uh, to make money. There are people that have millions upon millions upon millions, like, like hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, so it's not like it's that difficult to make money in this game. But uh, that's it. That's that's totally it. I don't have an MDN or whatever. Uh, probably find one and join up. But I think I'm gonna strip everything down here and get back down to my one single base. Uh, mine a bunch of stuff, build a bunch of stuff, do some trading, do some, you know, get some jitters and everything. Uh, once I get, once I get all my nervous centers in check, uh, and I get enough money saved up, I'll be able to very easily go and lay down a whole bunch of, uh, lay down a whole bunch of, um, uh, of nerve centers across different maps. And then of course, get my rank up, get to level 21, and then I'll be able to go and actually attack people. But that's it, man. It's 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 an awesome game. It really, truly, truly is. I love this game so much. The battles that you get into, which I've not been able to show you, of course, because oh, none of my attack, uh, tank uh, uh, camps are being attacked. But uh, if it happens while I'm playing, uh, and I get some good footage of it, then I'll definitely have to show you guys. Because you could get down, you could sit here and control your rovers from you know the this RTS type standpoint, or you could get down uh, in a first person point of view and just start lighting guys up. Uh, fighting tanks and whatnot, and you you know depending on your weapon, you know your firm points and everything. I mean, I have this shit weapon. Uh, depending on what you have, you can probably actually do pretty good. Let me see. How does the zoom work on this thing? Oh, do I have a scope? It's got a scope on the picture. I hate you.